Oh no. Shit. Just back off. Back off. We're okay. Is it? It's definitely up there. I don't know if I should just make a break for it. I'm not sure I remember which way to go. Bothersome. Well, I can't see up there. It's too dark. this hall now? No, there's some of that globby stuff making its way into here. It seems to have come up from the cellars. Alright, well, let's, let's get our way back into that guest room and see if we can't pry open the door. <sighs> let's see here. I've already read that. Alright, well, we'll go ahead and try to pry open that door in a second here, but first I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording for just a moment. Alright, and we are back again. Just need to make sure that that, uh, that lag does not happen. Alright, this is the broken door, so let's try this. Can I, uh... Ah! sort of key. Oh, my crowbar is busted. What a waste. I can't believe that the crowbar busted on one one door. That disappoints me. Oh well. What's this? Fourth of July, 1839. It's done! The orb is assembled. Hmm. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The hmm. ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Interesting. I don't know where this thing is, though. Can I push this in? No, not really. Sort of. Not so well, though. Quickly. Shit. This 
is not good. It's coming in here. Just be quiet. They won't know we're here. What's it doing? close this door just in case I need to run back in here for some reason it almost sounded like what the hell was that it's the key it's the key he was talking about can I to hide it then. needed to go into. It almost sounded like whatever that was was able to open a door. Something that's slightly disturbing. It sounded like it went back out this way without breaking the door. It's almost as if it might be somewhat intelligent. That will make them harder to deal with if they are intelligent. Alright, well... Let's hope that they're not... too intelligent. What the... I don't remember this being here. I swear I don't remember that being there. Oh great, that stuff is everywhere now. Let's see, is there any other rooms that I don't recall at the moment? That's where I came from. Okay. Ugh. As if this fountain couldn't get creepier. Apparently it can. Wonderful. Now we've got trails of blood on the ground. Just what I always wanted. Now there's... Oh, I hope it's not going back down there for using this machine room key. I do indeed hope. I hope it's somewhere in here. I can think of exactly one room that might have worked, but this, this could be it. Ah yes, the machine room. Yes, 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 I have a key for it. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been turned over and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. Didn't I read that before from a different door? I thought it was the same message from the door, the same door, every single time. Perhaps I am badly mistaken. Why are you getting creeped out? There's plenty of light in here. These are very strange shaped pipes. Like, 
not even partially strange, they're just very strange. This doesn't even look like a good job. Whoever made this. It's all... Oh, what is this place? Is that just Daniel talking to himself in his head? Go shut this door. Hmm, a note. Nothing. What do we have here? Pressure. Alright. Well, that makes some sense to me what I'm supposed to do. But I won't do that just yet. 5th of July, 1839. Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Crucifer, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. I suppose, in a way, by inviting him there, you are responsible, but not completely responsible. Is there anything over here? Bah. Oh. Well, that will do. What is that? Odd noises. 